Families frustrated with lawmakers as they wait for them to come up with solutions for missing and murdered indigenous people. Julian Pata spoke to New Mexicans with ideas. And with lawmakers about plans to bring back a task force. It's just really a disappointment because we've been pushing so hard. Kim Wapipa is a survivor of human trafficking and an advocate for Native families of MMIP cases. She says lawmakers aren't doing enough to focus on solutions to these problems. They're putting the families, survivors, on the back burner constantly, and we, we recognize that. We took our concerns to lawmakers to figure out if they are working on solutions. Senate Democrat Shannon Pinto confirming there are conversations taking place. We want to make sure that there's still discussions because I think this particular issue is not just, you know, it doesn't just include law enforcement. There are many other behavioral health issues that are encompassed into this. Senate Joint Memorial 2 will create a missing and murdered indigenous women and relatives task force. As a sponsor for this memorial, Pinto believes this is an action to tackle tackle this problem across the state. It moves the task force into the attorney general's office and, and what kind of makes it more of a permanent home. The task force would look at cases that are still being investigated and where these cases took place in the state. Wapipa doesn't think this is enough, but lawmakers believe if this action can get through before the session is over, real strides can be made. I hope we can really address the issue to a point where we don't have any gaps. For Action 7 News, I'm Julian Potter supporting. A memorial is currently in the Senate Indian Rural and Cultural Affairs Committee waiting to be discussed.